Her name was Maria Josepha, and they were both married in 1719. Uh, due to the fact that the emperor himself reigned in Vienna, Austria, the ceremony took place over there, but the party was celebrated in Dresden. Nobody wanted to celebrate in Vienna, of course. <laughs> we all wanted to celebrate in Dresden, and they knew why. Um, this party um, took place in September 1719. And when I say in September, I do mean September, the whole month. Four weeks in a row. Properly, every single moment of the performance, we additionally work with flat screens today. We have some in the boxes, and there are some more up in stage as well. Normally not visible before. Oh, you can, you can see, see that, over there, that one the over, over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how the singers can see the conductor. Uh -huh. In former days, the boxes next to the stage are were reserved for the king only. You can tell it from the red draperies and the golden crown. <laughs> and you can also see that the king didn't have a good view from these boxes. So why to hell was he sitting there? <laughs> Before it starts, everyone it's becomes silent. Right now, yeah. A cell phone goes off from time to time. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah? In those days, um, in those days, people were talking, eating, drinking, smoking. Yeah? It was rather like bar atmosphere. And when it occurred that the people became silent because they were that Opera much impressed of what was happening up on stage, there was still a sound breaking the silence constantly. And this was the sound that occurred when the men were using their pocket watches. Oh, really? In the 19th century, a woman could not go to the theater on her own. She needed to be joined by a...